All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you, just like me. Had another banner day yesterday with uh, view totals. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a bean counter because I'm trying to keep the channel going. So again, I need your support. Um, people tell me that they're not subscribed anymore um, or they don't get notifications. You have to hit the bell to get notifications. So try that. <laughs> and then maybe just, you know, set a timer somewhere else. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about Wolfgang Van Halen and uh, a mean tweet or a mean retweet. And you can uh, thank my patron, Scott, because I'm thanking Scott for sending me uh, the tweet. Um, because, again, this let, I'll get to that. All right. I, there's a lot I need to say. But before I go there, here is uh, Nitrate, Feel the Heat. Again, I'm not endorsing the album cover. Uh, some people would say I shouldn't be showing album covers like this. Um, I think it's fake anyway. I think it's like AI-generated uh, uh, female. Looks like she's about to you know, do some damage to somebody. Anyway, um, Feel... <laughs> it's just too much. Double entendre. Sorry. Feel the heat. This is like 80s rock with some pop tendencies thrown in there. Uh, it's really well done. Um, it, it just will certainly uh, stick in your brain for a very long time. So again, Nitrate, Feel the Heat. It came out last year. I think it was in my top 10. Um, that video is out there somewhere. Top 20 for 2023. So you can go watch that and... Uh, you know, see if you agree or disagree. A lot of people are just going to be like, huh, what's this? <laughs> it's music. All right. New music. It's a thing. I know it. a lot of people just would like me to get to the point. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get to the point. So Wolfgang Van Halen, again, courtesy of my patron, Scott. And he's retweeting this by somebody. I'm not going to name this somebody, but... um. Got a lot of views, got like 92,000 uh, impressions. He says, it's just curious because his style is not like Van Halen. And he talks of wanting to create his own sound or identity. Yet, <laughs> I've made this point, he names his band Mammoth when A, it's not really a band since the other guys don't play on the record, and B, why name a band after dad's band? It's actually a really good point. Um, and then he wrote hashtag mixed messaging. All right. Now, first of all, um, it's it's kind of overly serious to say it's mixed messaging. And it's like, do people care this much about it? That That's the thing that you've got to kind of grapple with. Do people really care? And so, um, unfortunately, Wolfgang Van Halen, though, retweets this guy and it, it's not pretty he says there's no mixed messaging you just have tapioca pudding where your brain is supposed to be all right so um first of all is anyone else getting tired of just pure insult culture like just you're a jerk you're an idiot you're a moron now granted i have called people morons on this channel mostly the people um from the Center for uh, Disease and Chaos, and uh, the people who supported the protocols, the wonderful, safe, and effective products, and we're telling people to, you know, do your civic duty. Really? Do my civic duty for you? No, for humanity. How selfish can you be? Oh, I can be really selfish wanting to stay alive. Yes, I would like to stay alive. So, doggone it, I'm selfish. And then, you know, I think I unleashed uh, the word moron a few times. And uh, plead, I'm pleading guilty to that. But I think that that was a, a good reason, a good rationale, because you can't reason with certain people. And by the way, these people are rock stars, and they're supposed to embody like this rebellious spirit, right? So what do they do? They go, they go along with the state. They go along with uh, what the government is telling them to do. That, to me, doesn't sound like the spirit of rock and roll. Now, I remember 
in the early days, people would do protests and sit ins and, you know, stuff at college campuses. They still do that stuff now. But the rock and roll community, especially the old geezers, uh, they've become the system. They've become the man. Old liberalism used to be kind of, I don't know, interesting because it was rebellious. It was countercultural. It was, you know, don't trust anyone over 30 and stick it to the man. And now it's like, hey, we're the man now. And we agree. You should go out to CVS three times. And so anyway, I always go off on that tangent because um, I think that was a flashpoint in everyone's life, 2020, 2021. So I always talk about it. And a lot of people don't even know what I'm talking about. What do you mean? Uh, I, I did it. And I'm fine. That's what I always hear. I, I'm fine. OK, good. Excellent. I'll pray that you continue to be fine. How's that? I will. Uh, and I mean it. I'm sincere. I mean, I've told people before, I don't want this stuff to be true. Why would I want this to be true? To say, I told you so. I told you so. Gloating over people dying prematurely is not something that I really want to do. That is not the spirit of Christ. All right. That is the spirit of antichrist. So, so, you know, again, it puts you in a tough spot because if you talk about this stuff, people think you're crazy and they, they want you to get back to the point. So I'm going to get back to the point, right? Which is Wolfgang and his tweet, his unfortunate tweet or X, what do they call it? Are they calling it X's now? I X'd over on Twitter. Is that is that a thing or probably not a thing? So this was a mean tweet or a retweet. And uh, personally, I'm just tired of the insult culture when there's really like no basis for it. This guy makes a great point. And what you could have retweeted is this is why I named it Mammoth WVH in honor of my father. I mean, that would be probably the comeback. Um, I was doing it out of respect for my father. But again, that's where the mixed messaging comes in because people kind of expect, you know, a continuation because you named it after your father. So if it's nothing like your father and you want your own identity, why not name it something completely different? And by the way, I've made this point before. If you have your mother's metabolism, right? I'm talking about Wolfie here. I'm sorry, Wolfie. Why would you name your band Mammoth? Okay, just just think of that for a second. All right, you know Meatloaf, who I just talked about the other day. Um, he was kind of a big guy, right? Meatloaf, and he had the name Meatloaf, and he just went with it and lived with it, and it was perfect. Everybody knew who Meatloaf was, and Meatloaf was never a skinny, in shape, at washboard abs kind of guy. Nope. He struggled with his weight his entire career, and it may have been his downfall at the end. Who knows, right? It's just a mystery. We'll never, we'll never get to the bottom of any of this stuff. So I think it opens him up for endless jokes to call the band Mammoth WVH. If not jokes, it opens him up for constant criticism from serious fans who are like, hey, I loved Van Halen. You're not Van Halen. You know, so why did you do this? Um, so I've made this point on other videos. Um, he should have distanced himself from all of that, uh, with the name because he says he kind of wants nothing to do with, um, his dad's legacy other than to just smile and tell people how great his dad was. But even the tribute he did at a Foo Fighters, uh, concert, which was a tribute to Taylor Hawkins, that's mixed messaging. <laughs> it's it's incomplete messaging. It's like, I'm going to go over here. A tribute to someone else is going on, but I'm going to crash the party and play a couple of songs for my dad. Okay, you know, look, thank God Sammy Hagar is going out there this year. And he hopefully is going to do justice uh, to the Van Halen legacy and give people some closure. That's all they were looking for for a couple of years here. The fans, closure. We, we never expected Van Halen to continue forever. And, you know, the style is important because you're not putting out Van Halen style. And the guy mentions this. Your music is good. I've said this before. 
I like the music. It's just not in my wheelhouse. Let me put it this way. I respect what he's doing, but it's not something I'm going to go and listen to. Um, and what's weird, right, is the classic rock community, like classic rock radio stations and people who talk about classic rock, they kind of treat this guy like Jimi Hendrix. They talk about him like he's, you know, this great guitar player, which he is good for sure. I remember one video, I think it might have been uh, the great Rick Beato was talking about, hey, this guy's a shredder. He shreds. Well, <laughs> Rick, he's in an era, right, where shredding is not a thing. Nobody wants shredding anymore. See, if he was recording music for the crowd that appreciates the shredding, that would make sense. But he's recording music and putting it out there for people who just could care less about shredding. They might like some good guitar licks, a couple of riffs here and there, maybe a tiny solo. But, you know, th th they don't want Eddie Van Halen anymore. That's cheesy, right? That's cheesy to solo like that. Um, just stick to the darkness, you know? Get back to the dark melody. Uh, don't do any melodic noodling on the guitar because that's going to be distracting from the point of despair and angst and just hating the world or whatever, whatever the song is probably about. So that's interesting, right? Stylistically, the music is OK and the playing is excellent, but this is not classic rock. All right. It's not. Uh, he seems to have a problem with his dad's fans and his dad's legacy. He just does. You can't compete with that. We know. And you want to carve your own path. But when somebody points out, hey, why did you call the band this, right? If you want to carve your own path, I get it. Um, it's a tribute. I'm sure he's going to say it's a tribute to my dad. But <sighs> you, a tribute to your dad would have been like playing a concert and playing Van Halen music, not naming your band Mammoth WVH, right? WVH, like VH, it's throw a W on the front of it and people are going to think, hey, this is a Wolfie's version of Van Halen. That's what they're going to think. Well, my name's Wolfgang Van Halen, so I'm going to use WVH. OK, great. Maybe I just have tapioca pudding for brains. Come on, Wolfie, you can do better than this, but he can't really help himself on Twitter. I think the fans criticism uh, here was legitimate. Wolfie, by the way, so far has not said whether or not he will participate in Sam's tribute shows to VH this year. That's just plain VH, not WVH. Um, certainly, Wolfie has talent, but keep in mind that today's rock is not about the amazing guitar solo. That's something from his dad's era. Yeah. So um, that's my little critique of the mean retweet. Are we tired of tweets that are mean yet? Are we tired? People say, I don't care about the mean tweets. Um, you know what? If one person does it, right, it gives permission to everyone to keep doing it. And then you get locked in this battle. You know, I was uh, on social media not too long ago, and I just made a statement. I didn't call anybody any names. And then as time went on, I was called all of these names for no reason other than disagreeing, other than just pointing out facts, by the way, too, that nobody refuted. Nobody said, no, you're you're not right about that. They're basically just saying, just get on board, just get on the train. And uh, I've always been a little bit rebellious in that way, just like the old school rockers used to be rebellious uh, when it came to authoritarians. They would say, no, no, something's wrong here. Um, we're going to go in a different direction. Um, and sometimes they just did it because that's what you were supposed to do in those days. And I think because a lot of it wasn't sincere, um, it was just going along with you know the younger crowd and what they wanted. I think that's why in many cases it didn't take, it didn't stay. I mean, how many of those people today are still advocating for what they said 40, 50 years ago. Very few, very few. They've definitely changed their message where, yes, I hate to say it, but it's mixed messaging. So that's my video. Uh, Wolfie, you know, my advice to you, brother, would be um, rename the band. Just rename it. Name it something else and then uh, stay off Twitter.
All right. You're super talented. Uh, certainly you're going to do well when it comes to the mainstream rock scene today. Um, you're probably not going to sell that many records, but you probably will sell a lot. And yeah, your name means something. Your name is always going to harken back to the original Van Halen and your dad's legacy. And there's really nothing you can do about that. There are many sons of great musicians, daughters, sons, who, you know, have to live with that legacy. You know, A.J. Croce comes to mind, who at first didn't want to embrace what his father did. And he's now out there reminding people how great Jim Croce was. He's keeping that spirit alive. And why not keep your dad's spirit alive? Number one, you'll make more money. Number one. Number two, you'll endear yourself to millions of fans who miss Eddie. And, and number three, I think it would be cathartic for you as a human being. But I don't know you, brother. I, I, I hope that you're okay. This has got to be really tough. You lose your dad, and then you try to set out on your own path. And uh, maybe, again, you should distance yourself a little bit more if you truly want to be your own person. All right, just putting it out there. And this gentleman here who you retweeted, that's what he was saying too. It is it is definitely mixed messaging. All right, I've said mixed messaging too many times. Here is a direct message. Please support the channel if you can. Patreon, YouTube memberships, those are the best ways to do it. Also, great music here from Nitrate, Feel the Heat, um, 80s all the way. I mean, if you're into the 80s, uh, Nitrate is your band. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Please pray for peace in the Middle East and around the world. And I'll see you soon.